1964 Jefferson nickel is not that rare overall. Metal composition is mere copper nickel alloy. However, there is one rare error variety that commands strong premiums at auctions, especially high graded specimens, like this one in mid state 66. 1964 D. Jefferson nickel with their punched mint mark. The repunching is clear with loop, but may escape detection by an unaided eye. Each side is brilliant and satiny with slight reflectivity, discerned in the fields. A few tiny marks are not bothersome. Although the steps of Monticello exhibit the typical softness, this coin is otherwise well struck and pleasing. It was sold for $19,800 at heritage auctions. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting on your numismatic journey, this video is sure to be an exciting and informative visual tour that will increase your knowledge and appreciation for rare US coins. So make sure to hit the subscribe button below and let's move on. Here is 1929 S. Lincoln cent and mean state 66 plus. Low grade red 1929 S. cents are occasionally available but premium gems are scarce. This piece is rarity with a plus designation and CEC endorsement. Satiny copper orange luster shows no major abrasions, and the only speck is a small one to the left of the scent on the reverse. Well struck and attractive. An ideal coin for the registry collectors. It was sold for $11,700 at heritage auctions. This is 1974 D. Eisenhower dollar in MS67 plus condition. Endorsed by C says well. This golden tinged beauty is exceptionally well preserved for circulation struck Eisenhower dollar. It is among the 10 finest certified from a mintage of over 45 million pieces. Sold for $5,520 at Stax Bowers auction. This is beautifully toned 1911 Lincoln set in brown, pure 67 condition. Vivid violet gold and fuchsia toning graces the matte surfaces of the superb gem brown proof 1911 Lincoln scent. The strike is sharp and the surfaces are spot free. The 1911 proof is a major rarity in PR67 condition. This example is highly attractive and sharp, showing broad square dreams. It ended up selling for $7,200 at heritage auctions. Here is 1946S Washington Quarter in Mint State 68, captivating toning in iridescent powder blue, pinkish lilac, olive gold, and orange apricot frames, circular areas of brilliance on both sides of this captivating superb gem. It was sold for $7,200 at Stax Powers Auction. This is 1949S Roosevelt Dime in MS67 Plus condition with full bands. A smattering of antique gold and olive toning decorates mostly the outer regions of this beautiful, superb gem. This color emphasizes the rich mint frosting at the centers of each side, with only 13.5 million examples struck. The 1949S Roosevelt Dime has the second lowest mintage of the entire series. After the 1955, it is difficult to locate them in uncirculated grades and it becomes considerable condition rarity above gem. Examples with full bands are similarly elusive, commanding a substantial premium over more weakly struck examples in the same grade. This one was bargained for $1920 at Stax Powers Auction. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and comment.